Those of you who are taking a prope, I'd like to explain a little bit about the audio or video that I'll ask that you create for this week's recipe. There's an app called Google Photos, and I think we've talked about this in class. If you download this, go to Settings, and select Backup and Sync, there's an option that says Upload Size. So if you select the option of High Quality, this will give you free unlimited storage for both images and video. And this is, the this is how I would select or set up your Google Photos. So when you take a, a video, or if you take any pictures, those files automatically get uploaded to your, uh, to your Google Photos. So for example, I'm going to open up my camera app, and this was a short video that I just took. And so this video, this file is currently on my phone. But if I go to Google Photos, this is only a five second video, so it's almost instantaneous uh, as far as how long it took to upload to Google Photos. But now the same uh, video resides online in my Google Photos, so I can access now this video from any any place. Check, 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 check. Okay, so this is now a video that I can share. If I click here, I can go to create link, and uh, this is how you can share the link that I'll ask you to uh, to do as part of this week's assignment, creating your own recipe. So you'll be asked to create your recipe and then also create a link to the video that you uh, create as a team that goes into uh, describing the video, basically describing everything that you create with the text. I would like for you to create a video to accompany uh, that recipe. Okay, so Google Photos, I think this is a good option uh, because if you later want to remove the file from your phone, you can do that knowing that it's backed up on Google Photos and you can always re-download it uh, if you wish. Okay, so if you have any questions on how to create the video and how to sync to Google Photos, let me know. And I look forward to seeing your uh, recipes for this week. Okay, in addition to using Google Photos to upload and share your, uh, your videos, I want to show you two other options. One other option would be to use YouTube. So if you use uh, YouTube, you have your own uh, space here. You can upload your videos. And uh, let me show you here. These are some videos that I uploaded to my account. And if I go into edit, you'll see here that I have options of publishing this video, either publicly, unlisted, or private. Um, you probably want to choose either public or unlisted. Unlisted would be only for those who have the link will be able to view it. Public, anyone can view it and it will be searchable via Google. Private, you don't want to choose because uh, that would be for your own purposes. So no one else would be able to see, uh, see the video. So again, you want to choose either unlisted or public for, that, for those purposes. Another option would be to choose your Google Drive and choose a folder that you, where you want to put the video. But uh, let me show you an example here. I have uh, different uh, video files, the MP4 files, and I can select here link sharing and copy the link and then it copies to my clipboard and then I can paste it into the, uh, the cookbook that we're working on this week or the Google Docs that we're going to be working and sharing uh, this week. So basically you have three options for sharing your video. Again, you can use Google Photos. Again, Google Photos will also work for videos. So if you create a video on your phone, it'll be automatically uploaded, which I explained a little bit earlier. And uh, the second option would be to use YouTube. You can again post it either publicly or unlisted. And your third option is Google Drive, as I just explained. Uh, Google Drive, if you use that, if you start uploading videos, you're going to start using very quickly your free space that you have. Um, and so I would recommend either choosing YouTube or Google Photos, again, so that you're not using up your, uh, your minimum, your free space that you have allotted as, a, as having a free account. So I hope that helps in uh, looking at the different ways that you can go about uh, sharing the video. 
And if you do have any uh, technical issues with setting up your video, just let me know.